A legal showdown begins in Montreal today. Lawyers for the estate of the slain Iranian-Canadian journalist Zara Kazemi will face off in court against the government of Iran. You know her story, of course, Kazemi beaten to death in a Tehran prison in 2003. Her son filed a, a multi-million dollar civil suit against the Iranian government, and this is the latest chapter in that legal battle. Stephen Kazemi is my guest in Montreal this morning. And Mr. Kazemi, thanks a lot for coming in today. Pleasure to speak to you. Thank you for having me. I mentioned that the lawsuit that you filed, we know about that, $17 million civil suit, and now a new challenge attached to us. Can you begin in simple terms, I guess, explaining the new arguments you'll be making in court today? Well, we are defending my mother's right. Um, there is no such thing as immunity for a foreign government to torture anybody. When you talk That's, about immunity, the, the law as it exists in our country right now says that you're not able to sue in Canada the Iranian government because it's covered under the State Immunity Act. So as I understand it, your challenge today in court is to, to, to challenge that very State Immunity Act. What will you be trying to argue about that? Well, simply that my mother's right have to be defended and um, without entering in, in legal terms, um, there is an exception for business uh, in that State Immunity Act. And there is not for torture. There is not for the basic fundamental right of, of people. So you're going to be looking at that potential exemption in the law. As you speak to your lawyers who are going to make the arguments, I mean, how, how confident are you that you'll be able to make these new arguments successfully? I'm confident enough. My, I believe my mother's voice is still reaching out during the last years of her life, which were very, very significant like any others. My mother has been a voice to the voiceless. She defended the victims of oppression in IT, in Africa, in Syria, in Jordan, in Palestine, Israel, Afghanistan, Iraq, Iran, and so she did until the very last days of her magnificent life. The Islamic Republic of Iran has tried to shut down that voice, mm -hmm. and now that she is dead, her voice is even louder. She has reached the heart of people, our greatest victory all over the years have been the tremendous and overwhelming support of people, their attention, her story, her case, the symbol that she represents can't be ignored, cannot be ignored. And now she needs justice in the names of all the victims who are suffering in silence. She needs her rights to be honored, Obviously. not as a hero, uh, not as a, yes, Obviously, not, not just as a human being. Yes, just I listen to you, being. and I hear obviously her voice continues to guide you as well in your decisions and your path in life. And you are giving expression to her voice in your legal challenge now for the reasons that you've outlined so so eloquently. But there's a big hurdle in your way, of course. Other people have tried to challenge the laws that exist right now, the State Immunity Act. People watching us, Stephen, will recognize most notably Mayor Arar trying to sue the, the Syrian and the Jordanian governments unsuccessfully. If you should be unsuccessful in this venture, are there other options or other legal options, other courses available to you now? No, there is no other option. And I, I strongly believe that there is no other option that people take take their right, take their freedom into their hand. No rights have been granted to us for free. They never have been given to us. We have taken them, and we will take them again. And we will always be there. Stephen, and we will be there in court today as we watch your proceedings begin. Thank you very much for giving us some time before you uh, head to the court in Montreal. Thank you.